1937 was an era where nothing was permanent, where the peace the world had an easily sunken into is as unsure as the people were about their own lives. Not even 20 years ago, the First World War ended and in barely three more, a second would start. Surrealism is the term coined to describe Salvador Dali's art to categorize it at arm's length. But Dali lived in a world where life was surreal, where the petite and gentle swans that were people hit the strong, willful people beneath the surface. Perhaps this was motivation behind one of Dali's least remembered pieces, a piece whose circumstances of creation are as murky and forgotten as the era they were made in. A work shrouded in historical mystery, Swans Reflecting Elephants, is a work that needs to be further investigated upon due to the lack of provenance from the time it was created to the time during and after World War II. Salvador Domingo Felipe Jacinto Dali, or famously known as Salvador Dali, was born May 11, 1904, in northern Providence, Spain. At a young age, Salvador Dali was exposed to the anguish and curiosity of life, especially when his older brother died at a young age, and the anguish of his parents, mainly through his father, was projected onto him day by day, being compared to his deceased brother. According to Salvador Dali, each day, I look for a new way of bringing my father to the proximum of rage, or fear, or humiliation, and forcing him to consider me his son, me, Salvador, as an object of dislike and shame. I threw him off, I amazed him, I provoked him, defied him more and more. Salvador Dali's artistic career began that of simple painting of simple life as well as painting reproductions of works he saw growing up as a child. His surrealist imagination would not kick until after finishing art school at the Royal Academy of Fine Arts, as well as the revelation of inspiration from fellow artists of the 1920s, such as Henri Montis and Pablo Picasso, which he would work frequently with. Although Dali and Picasso had respect for each other, a hatred loomed over them mainly due to the friendly critiques and competitions they would give each other through the years. As the years progressed, Salvador Dali created and expanded his works of art, and it wasn't until the late 1930s that the trouble arose for the great artists, and that trouble was World War II. World War II brought much turmoil to not only the world, but the art world as well, especially with the rising Nazi art rate occurring. Most of the renowned works of art history had produced were being stolen or destroyed. Salvador Dali's works of art were no exemption from the cruelties committed by the Nazis to the art world. Unfortunately, Swan's Reflecting Elephants was lost like most of the works during this time, but the one peculiarity of this piece was its provenance, for it had none. There was no record of where the piece was created, where it was located before the war and during the war and even after the war. From analyzation, all that can be concluded was that the piece must have been in France or another European nation taken over by the Nazis. The artwork was not destroyed due to the fact that it is currently owned by private collectors whose names are not mentioned. The piece could possibly have been hidden in the mines and old buildings scattered across Europe, or possibly displayed in one of the degenerate art museums to be ridiculed and mocked, much like Dolly was during this time. Salvador Dali fled to the U.S. during the war and did not return until the late 1940s when all was said and done and Europe was at peace again. During those troubled years of war, Dali suffered much hatred from other artists to a point he was kicked out of his surrealist group he had joined and been part of since the early 1930s. His main reason for being kicked out by the other artists was opposed favoritism towards Hitler. After World War II, Salvador Dali suffered a lonely and hated life, even though he created a lot of masterful works such as The Temptations of St. Anthony, as well as The Elephant, and had already become famous at this point in time. Dali unfortunately died on January 23rd of 1989 in his home country of Spain. Swan's Reflecting Elephants reflects not only the life of Salvador Dali, but reflects on the time the painting was created. The swans reflecting the idleness of Europe and recovery and the strength building up, while the elephants reflect the rippling tides of the war that the Nazis would wreck upon the world. Salvador Dali, in his self-inserted self-portrait in the picture, has his back to the lake of swans and elephants, gazing off into the distance, turning his back from the coming storm and focusing on what lies past it and what mysteries lay before him, much like the history or provenance of this painting that we may never know of.
If I could save time in a bottle, the first thing.